Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. It is the responsibility of the minister and the responsibility of the permanent secretary to clean the system where they are working. HH cannot do everything alone. You know, that guy is overworked. He has overworked himself because of the people that he appointed. Sometimes I feel pity for him. I don't know who was making recommendation of all these guys he appointed. Many of them are clueless. They don't know what to do. They don't know, they don't understand politics. You are in no position for 20 years and you didn't learn politics. Many of you actually came from you, MMD, what, what, and so on and so forth. You, you are telling me you don't have experience of politics? When you are appointed by the president, as for example, a minister of mind, it is your duty and your responsibility to get into the ministry and dissolve the ministry and start with your own people. Government is like computer. Until you put a new operating system that you know, you will not be able to operate that computer very well. So if you are, the president has appointed you a minister of sports and you get into the minister of sports, you are not able to dissolve the ministry and bring in your own people. You are a failure. You are the reason why that people are complaining I appointed the minister of tourism ah uh, the president has appointed you a minister of sports and you get appointed the minister of tourism. You are able to dissolve the ministry and bring in your own people you are a failure you are the reason about pf the reason why it was so difficult to remove pf out of power was because those guys are so organized in everything they did they were so organized it was it was impossible to remove those guys from power why because they were so organized when they came into power the first thing edgar lungu did was to make sure that at least half of the judges he bought them off half of the magistrates he bought them off if you go to court even up to today there are more pf aligned judges and magistrates than than actually people that are working for the government there are more and more of them there are there are there are a lot of them majority of them are supporting pf why because immediately the galungu was was elected he chose his own lawyers i was a victim of eddie galungu i was a victim of pf before they arrest you before pf arrest you before they arrest you they have already spoken to their magistrate before these guys we are so so they were thinking beyond human capacity before police come to your house and arrest you eddie galungu and the pf already know the the magistrate they are taking you to so for you to win a case when PF was in power, it was impossible. That's why they managed to convict Kambuyo. That's why they put HH, uh, uh, the president, to prison for many months. That is why even when Eddie Ganungu was not eligible to stand, they made him to stand through concord. That is why they were acquitting somebody like Tito Taylor. Chito Teller stole millions upon millions of quarter, hundreds of mil of hundreds of quarter, and then he paid hundred thousand and he was acquitted. So these guys understood. This is so, um, you you PND has not understood how government is run. They 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 still believe that government is run like business. <laughs> they are doing. They are still doing. We are all Zambians. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. <laughs> this is exactly how it works. This is, and that is, if you really, really, really want to achieve something, you must have your own people in the system. UPN doesn't have its own, their own people in the system. Why? Because 
the people appointed in authority are greedy and they have corrupt mind they prefer to work with pf people and eat and secure their family than to work with the people that they suffered with while in opposition that's why you see there is actually people are crying but there is no ministry that is able to dissolve boards and appointing new people how can you how can you light and darkness cannot work if i talk now you say ah all of us we are all we are all zambians yes if you are all Zambians and politics is about eating, I think it is the time for the Zambians that ate when Ed Galungu was in power. It is time for them to stop eating so that those that have not eaten must come and eat also because we are all Zambians. People cannot be in government for 20 years and continue eating and in the name of we are all Zambians, when there are people that have never eaten before, is it not the same Zambia? These people that don't have a job, are they not the same Zambia? It is time for you guys to remove these guys, all these guys that work with PF. It is not the responsibility of a church. Leave a church alone, at least. Allow that guy to sleep. That guy does not sleep at night. Ministers, police, Head of services, it is time for you guys to wake up and start dissolving bots. Get rid of people completely from the ministries. Up to today in the Ministry of Information, there are still PF members there. Everyone knows that these guys we are working with PF and they are still there and they are still eating in the name of we are all Zambians. How about the Zambians that have not eaten before? Eh? Are they not Zambians? Eh? Are there people that are more Zambians than others? Eh? If you have eaten for seven years, for four years, you were eating with PF, and now you want to comfortably come and eat with UPND. It means even you as a leader that is saying we are all Zambians, you are not truthful to yourself. Because there are people that have not eaten that must come and eat as well. The reason why we support politics the reason why people support politics is that so that when they win they eat also it's not something that happens forever and ever it's something that happened within years when your party finishes you stop eating and allow another person to eat you are a minister in uh, Kenneth Kaunda you are a minister in uh, in uh, in uh, you, uh, uh, what is the name Rupia Banda you are a minister in uh, in a, 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 a Sata, you're a minister in a, Edgar Lungu, and you, a, you want to come and eat again in UPND. You are a greedy personality. Are you the only Zambian that has experience and that need to eat? Those appointed in authority by president are the people that are disappointing him. If if I was one of those that were appointed, I say, for example, see, I want to go and hold the ministry of. Uh, Ministry of Tourism. We immediately arrive there. Bah, I'm going to dissolve it. And they bring in the people that were in opposition with me. Because those are the people that understand what is going on. They understand the cry of the people. You bring in somebody that is already rich during the time of Eddie Galung. What is he going to talk? He's talking the language of the rich. He doesn't have connection with the poor. He doesn't have connection with what is happening on the ground it is comfortable the advice is going to be giving you is comfortable advice all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.